Hi everyone, today I thought I would do this crown for you. This is from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford. It's also this week's um, calendar page, so um, I thought it would be um, useful to do. Now I'm going to do this crown in gold um, and with some gemstones obviously on it. So I'm going to show you what combination I use for gold. Now my browns are quite short as I'm sure you might be aware. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera a little bit. I think we're okay um, from previous videos. So, um, but this, I picked my longest, I use always use a dark brown. So this is the, um, I think it's called dark umber. I'm gonna look it up. I'm, I, there's so many polychromers, I can never remember all the names from the numbers. Now this is burnt umber. So I'm going to start with emphasising all the bits that I want to be really dark on the crown with the burnt umber. So the edge, definitely. Now what I do is I go with a dark line and then just scumble out a little bit from the edge. Okay, now this one I don't want to be quite as dark but I want there to be a line along here because I want this bit to look like it is standing out a little bit from the crown. So just go along here. You need a fairly sharp pencil for this. And I'm going to go in all these little gaps here with it. So again, it needs to be quite sharp. Those circles under here, you could do either as um, in gold or you could do them as a gemstone. But whichever way, it's nice to have a bit of shadow behind them so they look like they're standing out from the page a little bit more and it, we can't make everything look completely three-dimensional some people much better at that than others but uh, we can certainly um, have a go so I'm going to put some dark in all of these edges and corners now you can what some people do is put a dark stripe somewhere on the edge of the crown I'm not going to do that because I find it, I can't always get it looking quite right so I'm going to do it so that it it shines right down the middle here for me it's much easier to make it look symmetrical you can obviously try whatever you want to now where we've got these gemstones there's going to be a bit of a shadow under there because they're obviously standing out from the crown now I'm trying to cover the black mark a little bit the, as well as the um, bit underneath I think we missed one over here and again along the edge of here and just scumble it out. Now there are different combos you can use for golds. So I've seen lots, even just with polychromos, I've seen people using different combos of browns and some people use um, a little bit of red in their gold um, or a sort of a terracotta type colour. Um, some people just checking I've done it all we've got to go under here some people use um, a little bit of um, green even so uh, it's sort of up to you you can play around with different combos so I'm going to go in quite dark just there you see Johanna's drawn us some lines here indicating there's lots of shadow so I'm going to take her advice and put a lot of shadow in there now that for the minute that's all I'm going to do with the dark so I'm going to grab my next lightest which is this one which is my 1182 it's really hard to see with my lamp on it shines off the gold this is a brown ochre and we're going to go where everywhere that we've put the dark we're going to go over the edge of it and pull it towards the middle a little bit now how much we go across will depend on the space here we don't want very much but here we can do a bit more because we've got all this length to play with i hope that makes some sense now you notice i haven't put a dark bit under these tiny circles i'm not sure whether there's enough space for that so uh, we'll see i'm just thinking about um my pencil might not be sharp enough etc So I'm just, it's simply going over every bit that I did and just extending that colour a little bit. It's very straightforward. 
It doesn't have to be particularly neat or even or anything, which is a great joy. Well, I mean, it, you can make it really neat if that's your style, but mine is, and I've got this, a messy style. Now for this bit, I'm gonna start adding in just a little bit here, and maybe it's the tiniest hints, across top and bottom, just a little. I'm gonna go over the top of here. I'm gonna sharpen some really sharp and go over the top. This is, cause this is gonna be my final layer in there. So I want it to just be quite defined. I don't want white showing through. I'm expecting a telephone call at any time, just to warn you. Please don't jump if my phone rings. I probably will. But uh, this phone is so close to the camera, I can't really move it because it's plugged in. Because it's the little charging station. So even if I remove the phone, it'll still the charging station still rings. So that's that. And then we'll come down here and do a bit on here. We want this bit, because it's inside, to look darker. A little bit here and here. There we go. I haven't decided whether those sticky up bits there are going to be gemstones or gold. I think probably gemstones. And I'm also looking at this line here, and I'm just going to put a little nod on there and here. I think Johanna was meaning for maybe there to be a little bit of shape in there. The next one we take is the green gold. Um, and we extend this a bit. We need to leave some shine on this one. This bit's going to be darker here. So I'm going to leave a bit of space for some more colours in there. And same here. So I'm just going over it a little bit. Now you might be watching and thinking, gosh, she's going quite fast. How do I copy exactly what she's doing? You don't have to. It's really quite rough. I'm just adding bits and bobs here and there. I'm just going over where the colour is already. So it's uh, it's not precise. And here. Start bringing a bit in there a bit more in here. It's just about building up the colour a little bit more. And now I've got my first yellow, which is the light yellow ochre. Oh, excuse me, a bit of a runny nose. I don't know why. So now I want to think about creating that shine leaving some white in places, but bringing the bit further in. You see, I'm being very rough and ready. Just making sure I'm leaving some gaps. There we go, and bringing that in a bit, and this in a little, a lot more down here, because we want this to be darker. Okay, right, push a bit more there. Now we're in with a this one, which is 185, and this is the Naples yellow. So I'm paying close attention here. I'm gonna leave that line there for shine. And here, I'm gonna leave a bit there. And this is gonna come right in. Now we want to leave a, we have got one more yellow, but we don't want to leave a huge amount of space for it. So really bringing that yellow in. And here. <sighs> okay, and the last one is our light cadmium yellow. This is a really bright yellow. So I'm basically gonna go over everything and blend it, but 
leave the white. So this white line here, leaving it here. I'm going over the top here. And again here, I'm leaving a bit of white here and here. I'm going over this and what I find it does is it warms everything up a little bit gives more of a goldy sort of feel to it I'm putting a bit I'm narrowing the white gap on here because I've got quite a big one but trying to just see so we've got a bit of white there that I'm leaving but I'm putting a little bit in to our gap there and then here I want to leave some white in the middle it's shining that see that's lining up with there that white isn't we want the white gap to be lining up so that's a bit rubbish so we'll bring that in a bit and we'll get our rubber and we'll just erase sorry I should say eraser for our American audience who are now chuckling there a bit more here a little bit there but leaving some white there we go so we have quite a shiny looking crown it's quite simple so say there are other ways of doing it now you can go in with your darker pencil this is the darkest one and just emphasize a few darker areas around here and it just gives it a little bit of shape and uh, a little bit of texture but really that's me done and now we have to think about our gemstones now I'm going to go for a nice red I think I'm going to grab my darkest red which again is quite short um, this is number 225 which I think is I'm just going to check on my list 225 dark red okay and I'm gonna do let me think I'm gonna do these big ones here now look at the shape of this gemstone it looks like it's already three-dimensional so I think it's darker down here at the bottom and coming lighter towards this center bit as if that center bit is sort of sticking out so that's how I'm gonna color it like that and the same probably with these so quite a lot of intense dark color at the top and lighter towards the center um, now same with this one we would add be adding some white pen later this one's a slightly different shape but I'm still gonna do a similar thing but darker underneath I think and I think this top bit would be flat so I'm going to do a sort of just a bit of a stripey effect on there. Now this is like it's a symmetrical one over there, same here. Okay, now I'm going to do these round ones with my red and then probably the little tiny ones I'm just going to do in red. Now I'm just doing a hard application. We can't really do a lot with them. They're very small. And these, what I'm going to do is just circle. Oops. And try and leave the centers lighter. I'm probably going to just use my gel pen to help with that because it's quite a small space just going to sharpen a bit it's quite difficult to get that effect with it just trying my sister keeps sending me messages that's distracting me on my computer I can see them up on my screen she's um she's thinking about her she runs a little shop and she's trying to think of ways to get people through the door um, her shop, if anyone, is around and lives in the UK in Shrewsbury, her shop is. And it's called the Vegan Hub. And it's in the parade shops, which is in the old hospital, I think. I've never been. I haven't been able to go up there because she opened um, just after lockdown. Now I'm going to pick a green for the other gems. I'm going to pick emerald green. 
and uh, so I haven't been allowed to travel up there um, so I haven't been to the shop but although it's, it says it's a vegan hub yes it has lots of vegan um, foods but they also have nice gifts um, so I'm here I'm doing a darker bit at the bottom and lighter at the top so they have lots of vegan gifts um, which aren't they like sort of animal themed um, jewellery or um, non-leather type things and different clothing and stuff books and things, cards, lovely art and things like that. Right, white gel pen time. going to use my number 10 because it flows nicely. Right, now I'm going to do a dot. Mm -mm. Where am I going to start? See, hmm. I'm just going to do a dot in the centre of each one of these. I was thinking about not doing that first because I might lean over it but uh, it's not a huge bright dot it's just a little dot and we'll do a little bit of shine on these here and there by making it symmetrical because this is a symmetrical picture you don't have to Scribble with that. Yeah, she's uh, she's finding it tricky keep with the shop because of it having to shut. So although it's a food shop, because her um, shopping centre she was in was shut, she had to shut. Now we could add elements of shine to the crown, like a little cross or you know a sort of sparkly bit. I find it quite difficult to make them look real and also I would want it on an edge and um, I haven't done the background and I haven't decided if I'm doing a background so I'm actually not going to add anything else to that. I quite like the shine we've got going on here. Um, I think it works quite well and down here so I hope that uh, that's helpful for you. I hope that gives you a bit of confidence. It's quite tricky um, making a start on a piece like this but uh, there's my idea for you anyway so thank you for watching I as I say I hope it was useful I hope you enjoyed it and uh, happy coloring